In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a circle timeline. A circle timeline, sometimes also called a bubble timeline, is a way to display a series of dates on a timeline with a measure used to size the circles and optionally another measure used to color the circles. A circle timeline combines a time series, a dot plot, and pack bubbles into the same view. Let's see how we build it. We're going to build a circle timeline based on sales by month. I'm going to right click and drag order date to the columns and I'm going to choose continuous months. I'm going to put sales onto the size shelf and change my mark type from automatic to a circle and you can see our circle timeline beginning to take shape. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click in the row shelf and I'm going to create an in-shelf calculation. I'm going to type in the average and then zero. And you can see this gives me a nice zero line going across the view. From here, I'm going to go ahead and hide the header for the average of zero and also be sure to remove it from the tooltip. If I want to then color the circles by a measure, I can drag profit onto the color shelf. From there, maybe I want to split up the view by region. I'm going to put region onto the row shelf. I'm going to right click on the region and rotate the label. I just like doing that so it takes up less space. And then I'm going to hide the field labels for the rows. From here, it's a matter of formatting the view to the way that you like. For example, you may want to make the circles bigger so that they overlap a bit. You may want to add a bit of transparency. You may also want to potentially add borders. At this point, it's all just personal preference as far as formatting the view. And that's it. That's how you build a circle timeline. Have a great day.